Okay, let's get to the brass tacks here about how to do corners. <clears throat> and I said I was going to get to that. And I've already put down the four uh, long sides. There, 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 and down here. So, I've already got the far longest parts put out there. All I need is the corners. So, what I'm going to do is create a new transform group. Then I'm going to get this one. You notice this arrow's pointing this way. This is going to be my first one. So I'm going to copy this. I'll put this in the transform group. In the first spot. Then I've got this one over here. It's arrow's pointing this way. And I'm going to copy. And I'm going to put it in here. And it's going to be the second one. So when I highlight this, I've got these two. And I can export this to Spline. Just like you would any other one. Import that. It's going to say two. Hit go. And import test. And ba boom. <laughs> uh, it's really that simple. And then we'll use, get the same thing we did on the street. We'll set the height of the thing there. And then set the height at 0 0.04. And we have a perfect corner, as you can see. And that's really all there is to that. Uh, and that's the way you do a closed loop. Uh, when you do your streets, you're just going to do every corner that way. Just uh, get everything set up and do that that one. Do those two, but make sure which way the orientation is. You want the orientation to go that way through the curve into the next one going that way as well. Uh, orientation is key. Once you've got that set up, the rest is history.